YouTube, so we have a 2015 GMC Acadia, and basically the uh, service to bullet track light was uh, coming up on the instrument cluster. As you can see, the traction control is off, and the service traction control is on. So, upon scanning the vehicle, which uh, I did not record, but I will do the follow-up after I'm done with the uh, service real quick. Basically, the uh, brake pedal position sensor was the culprit, and I determined that because as I was pressing the brake pedal and depressing the brake pedal, the scanner was reading constantly active, so that obviously was a critical fault which can subsequently affect the stability track system. So in order to uh, perform this service, we're gonna replace the part with a brand new brake pedal position sensor. This one cost about 16 bucks from uh, the dealership and it's an AC Delco original part. You can find one based on your year make and model at either Advance, AutoZone, O'Reilly, wherever. So. This is a pretty straightforward repair. The only things we're going to be needing is a clip popper or a screwdriver if you if you don't have one handy and a uh, flashlight with a 7 millimeter uh, wrench or ratchet. So there's three clips that hold the kick panel under the uh, driver's side and uh, these clips they just come right out with the use of the uh, clip popper. And then just uh, remove the uh, kick panel, put it to the side, and uh, grab your 7 millimeter wrench or ratchet. And uh, yeah, can you get back here? Right here where I'm shining the light, this is going to be where you're going to do it, where you're going to remove it. And uh, yep, it has one bolt secured on the side. And this red tab up top, which you just push back. And then after you push the red tab back, it just slides off. And now you can uh, just remove the uh, bolt <clears throat> securing the sensor in place. And uh, we are almost done here. Maybe not. Okay, so we have the old one out, and now we will put the new one in. Always good idea to look at the part and make sure it's the same. I know it is, but sometimes you may get the wrong part or they may tell you the wrong part, so just good to match them up. And now this little uh, horseshoe here you want to basically put on the brake pedal on the upper part right here where I'm shining my light this dowel is gonna go in that hole this uh, dimple and uh, that's about it Oh. 
All right, we are in. And now, Okay. Always start the bolt by hand. Never start it with the wrench or the ratchet so that you don't cross thread. After you get the uh, first couple of threads in and it goes smoothly, come back with the wrench or the ratchet to tighten it up. This is a small little seven millimeter bolt, so don't go crazy and uh, over tighten it strong as you can pop the connector back in push the red tab the safety tab back in and you are done we will uh i'll put the kick panel back in but this is a pretty straightforward repair should it take more than the length of this video for even the uh least mechanically inclined person to uh accomplish this and it can save you so much money at the uh dealership or elsewhere as far as diagnosis and uh, actual mechanical labor time and again this was for the Stabilitrack issue on the 2015 GMC Acadias and as you saw we put the uh, kick panel back in with the uh, clips and now we are going to start the car now the service traction control light is still on we're gonna toggle the uh, traction control on and off All right, YouTube, I just had to go grab my scanner, but basically um, this part is uh, where the fancy equipment comes into play. I have an alternative solution, which um, I didn't do, obviously, because I don't need to, but if you take the negative and positive off of your battery and disconnect both terminals from the battery, wait about 10 seconds then touch those battery terminals together while they are disconnected from the battery in other words just make the terminals kiss after they've been disconnected from the battery for a few moments at least five or ten seconds it will send the reference voltage that's left in the uh, system which is not enough to fry anything but just enough to wipe the memory clean in layman's terms of the PCM and all onboard monitors. You'll have to relearn your clock time and all the accessories again, but it's a cost efficient, cost effective way in lieu of buying a $4,000 scanner. But basically what I just did is uh, I went into my ABS menu on my scanner if you do have the luxury of it obviously I pulled up the vehicle I pulled up ABS codes 
went to the codes menu, display codes. I had a Charlie 0161 code. I went back, I cleared it right now, and um, that was it. Never really clear a code unless uh, you've made the repairs necessary. In this case, we have, so we will clear them with the expectation that they don't re-emerge. Also, uh, now as you can see, I can toggle the traction control on and off and my Stabilitrack uh, sensor has, uh, my Stabilitrack warning has been disabled. So, another productive and constructive day with Dan the Certified Car Man. Please hit the like button down below if you uh, thought this was useful. Let your friends and family know. And uh, feel free to subscribe. Please post any questions down below. And until next time.